Hey, you guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. We are doing a quarantine things to do ideas part two. Part two. Because so. y'all loved the last one so much. And I'm sure that after a couple weeks of being isolated inside, you've probably done our whole list of 40. Seriously. So guess what, you guys? We came up with 40 other ideas that you guys can do. More. And we're going to show you in this video. So let's go. This is a thousand piece puzzle. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. This is my third puzzle of the week. Third? Next item on the list is start a journal. This is the only journal that we can find here right now. And her watermelon pen. Dear diary. She is about to start a bubble bath. Look at what kind is it? Twisted peppermint bubble bath. Ooh. I don't know about y'all, but my parents are always trying to get me to watch old movies. So we figured one of our ideas would be to watch a movie older than when you were born. We're about to turn on Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. If you've never seen that, it's a good movie. We've seen it before. I would just look up your birth date and then just say like movies older than this date. 1954. Let's Way start this movie. Bailey's gonna make your bed for you. Bed. We're gonna get back in. <laughs> it's a random act of kindness. I want you to do it. <laughs> I'm getting right back in. Look at that. So beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So great. <laughs> Look at this perfectly made bed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a nice act of kindness. <laughs> We have this giant computer. We're gonna use it to Google ourselves. Yeah. I feel like everyone has done this at some point in their lives, but we figured if you haven't, you should try it while you're in quarantine. Look at what pulls up. It pulls right up. Bailey McKnight. You'll be very interested to see the things that pull up on your name. I feel like this is dumb because we all know what's gonna pull up. It's gonna be a YouTuber. YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube, Apple Music, what's Deezer? Look at some of the experience. What was that? I'm number four born in December. Oh, you're number 630. Wait, click on my name. I want to see what I'm ranked. 233! LOL. If you want to be productive and scholarly, you could always make a LinkedIn profile, mm -hmm. <laughs> get a job, or an build up your resume, or, or your all resume. that fun stuff. Super important. As we learned in the previous video, Bailey has about how many thousand six hundred fourteen thousand emails. We're gonna suggest that one of our ideas be you unsubscribe from your junk mail. All right, how many emails have you unsubscribed from? Two so far. If you guys didn't know, when you're unsubscribing to things, they usually put the unsubscribe option in really small lettering at the bottom of the email. Oh, I've seen this prank going around where people put like raw noodles in their mouth and then ask their family members to crack their back and then like crunch down on it and it sounds like you're being seriously injured but it's really only the noodles and you get the reaction so I decided to try it out and we'll see what they do. <laughs> we mentioned board games in our last video, but what we did not mention were card games, which happen to be our personal favorite. I love card games. So we're gonna teach you a quick card game that you can play two people, and it's super easy. Okay, quick explanation of the rules for this game. It's called Speed. Pull out the two jokers from the deck and then split the deck up so each person gets five cards and then you lay um, them out in a specific way and I'll show you how. So you get five cards for each of us. Okay, so we each get five cards. Now we put five to the side, five to the side, two in the middle, and then you split the rest up in an even split. So she gets half, I get half of the rest of the cards. Okay, so the point of the game is to run out of the cards in your hand as well as the deck that you split in half. So the way you can do that is you flip over these cards in the middle 
and then we look at the cards in our hands and we can play the card that goes up from that number or down from that number. So I could play an eight or I could play a six or I can play jack or I can play a nine. So I have a six, so I put it down. I have, I have a five, so I put it down. I have a nine and a 10 and a jack. And I have a four and I put it down. Now I only have two cards in my hand and I want five at all times. So I would pull from my deck over here and you just keep doing this until one of you runs out of cards first and then you win. If you get stuck here and nobody has any cards to play, then you each can flip one over on either side and start playing again. Another one you can do is throw a football or a frisbee or something of the sort back and forth. Okay, I don't know if any of y'all have heard of leg wrestling. Ready, set, go. I think I win. I win! One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> this is much harder than it appears to be, which will take up a lot of your time. You will not be bored doing this. Another idea if you have nail polish just laying around like we do. You can paint your toenails or your fingernails if you want to. I'm about to paint my toenails maroony purpley color. My feet look so weird, but my toes are done. I'm absolutely positive that a three-year-old has painted their toenails better than I have, but it's okay, I painted them. You get the point. <laughs> Obviously, I know how to do a few braids. I've got fishtails in and I've got um, kind of rope twists here, but I was gonna do the chain link braid that my mom has on her channel. So I've been watching the video. Um, we can link it here, um, the I button. You see it, we'll link it so you guys can watch it if you want. But let me do this hairstyle. I'm, I've convinced Camry to let me do it on her hair. I'm gonna show y'all me trying to do that braid. Ta-da! I'll be drawing a picture of Brooklyn. She'll I'm be drawing a drawing picture, of picture of me. Bailey. Talent at its finest. Here's my drawing of Brooklyn. Pretty accurate, I would say. I don't know. What do y'all think? Oh, wow. <laughs> my hair is not that puffy. We look like we have the same eyes and lashes in this photo. Yeah. Another good idea is to go through old photos. What about some other? <gasps> oh, <laughs> cute. That's so cute. Well, that's oh, Rylan. That's for sure me. Always the same eyes. My front teeth. Look at you. That's me. That's Bailey. There I am. The same. <laughs> me. The dream. The dream. The dream. Camry. Who is it? Camry? Hello. Me, you. Yep. Oh, that's a cute Look picture. at my teeth, though. Hi, <laughs> Happy. I thought it might be fun to try on some of our old dress up and see if we still fit and then put on like a fashion show kind of thing. So, oh no. it, doesn't, it doesn't fit him. Ooh, what about this one? 2000 when I put this, this one. I'm afraid I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's attempting to put on a uh, very small. <laughs> is if you have a pet to start an Instagram for your pet like we did for Finn. This is Finny's Instagram. Finny's Instagram. And I post just whatever photos I want of him on there and some fun stories. The fun part about having a pet Instagram is that it doesn't have to be serious so you can make it look and be whatever you want it to be. Brooklyn and I have had a running bucket list going for like a long time. I have like so many. But a good thing to do if you're super bored is to look up things and add them to your bucket list or make a bu bucket list. Or check things off you forgot to check off. Yes. Happies. Write in a hot air balloon. Create a chalk masterpiece. 
Okay, so we have makeshifted our own bowling alley here. Finn wants to be part of this. We have a bunch of water bottles, or you could use plastic water bottles, or you could use anything really that stands up like this as your pins. You got one pin. <laughs> Bummer. Ready? My. Well, you have two standing. I win. So, one of the things you can do while in quarantine is go for a run. Now, I do not run. If I was running, you should be too, because it's probably from something. So, I have regretted <laughs> Garrett, who is my friend from school. <laughs> I have convinced him to go on a run for me so that I can video the beginning of it. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Something that gives you a solid amount of exercise is riding a bike. I've got my helmet on. Let me go for a bike ride. One thing that you can do that I like to do is just pin things for my future house. For instance, these are the pins that I put up for the house that I now live in in Waco. But also it's just inspiration for my future house in general. This was my inspiration for my room in Waco. And it actually came to look almost exactly like this inspiration, but also for inspiration for, again, a future house. So Daxton like makes all these things on, I guess that it's called Scratch. Mm -hmm. Is that like a language or a website? Website. A website and he codes all these games and so these are all of his unfinished games. So he's gonna click on one and he's gonna show me a couple things. Now tech and you could just, you could like switch to different levels. But this is just all so the here, this is like the text that pops up on the screen and these are all of the actions and things that make it do what it does. Cool. We have pulled up a Zumba tutorial thing. One of the, gra the greatest quarantine activities that I think you can possibly do is clean. This is not coming out. This is, we are cleaning a bathroom right now. But if you're gonna live in a house for weeks on end, you gotta clean it. You gotta clean That's it. That's the gist. And if you're really bored, it is something to do. I don't know about y'all, but one of my quarantine activities is going to sit in my car alone listening to music. Sometimes you just get tired of being inside. Okay, the way that I crop my shirts, just get scissors like normal and put it against something that goes straight down to like the countertop so you have a clear line of where you're gonna cut. And a tip once you have everything cropped, pull the fabric side to side and it'll make the ripped part, the cut part, roll. So it'll look like purposely edgy. Ta-da! We are camping in the backyard. Obviously it's not nighttime yet, but we are just showing you the setup of what it would look like if we camped in the backyard. Yes. Also, we're doing this in case you don't have a tent, but if you do have a tent, obviously set the tent up. Ta-da! A makeshift sleep bag, sleeping bag. <laughs> Brooklyn's hung up her hammock. She's gonna hang out. So you can hammock or just lay in the sun. Or an Eno or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is too funny not to show. I had a clip on this person and it was already broken. Dollar fifteen quarters here. This is not an optical illusion. This is real. You balance it on your elbow right here. I got a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> Let me try again. Do it again. Do it again. You. Oh, he caught all of them. Now Bailey, Bailey. tries. <laughs> <laughs> Did that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you can't even balance it. Go. Go. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay, a really classic game that we all know how to play and have all played before is hide and go seek. You're never too old to play hide and seek. <laughs> I'm in my mom's shower. <laughs> Brandy, <laughs> that took you forever. <laughs> 
Another thing that you can do is learn a new trick. Asa and I actually learned a trick that we're actually pretty, I feel like yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty good, good at. Yeah, yeah. And I know y'all are gonna ask, he's staying with us right now during quarantine, isolation, whatever, <laughs> because I didn't wanna be stuck away from him for like two months. But yeah, I'll just show y'all our new trick that we learned. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Come back or yes. Okay. <laughs> and then they I drew a strawberry. Such a great it, an artist. I am an artist. What are you drawing? An orange? I drew Call me Van Gogh. What can I say? He drew an orange. Is he drawing a strawberry? And Brooklyn drew grapes. <laughs> Go binge watch all of our videos. We've been posting more so that you guys had stuff to watch. So if you're really bored, you can go all the way down to some of our really old videos and watch those. We've got a bunch of stuff here for y'all, so go watch it. We are watching the sunset right now while the family kind of plays some ball games and the dogs run around. So I'm just gonna flip it around and show you guys just the pink sunset. You can kind of see as the sun sets. We're just kind of watching it. The weather outside is perfect and it's a really fun quarantine activity you can do with your family or friends.